Hi clarinets, welcome back to another video lesson. Today we're going to be on page 14 of our Essential Elements band book and we're going to learn a couple new things here. No new notes, but a new way to count notes and give notes um, different numbers of beats. So at the very top of the page in the tan box we see the word tie and a tie is a curved line that connects two notes that are the same pitch. That's important, that are the same pitch. So if I combine in their example two Fs, I'm playing a note that lasts two beats, two quarter note Fs, would be one two beat note. It would feel and sound just like a half note, wouldn't it? But it looks very different. It's when I look at that two quarter notes tied together. Okay, so let's Take a look at song number 59 called Fit to be Tied. At the very beginning of the song, we start with a half note G, and then we go down one note to F. I see two Fs, but they have that curved line connecting them, so I know that I'm going to combine those two notes because of the tie. So I'm just going to play one F, it's going to last two beats, and then I'm going to go down to the low C. I'm not going to tongue two Fs. I'm going to play one two beat F and then I'll go down to my C and then I go up one note to D, two quarter note D's tied together so it's just going to be a two beat D, it's going to sound like a half note. Okay? And then I go up one note to my two beat half note E, up one note again to two quarter note F's tied together, that's one two beat F ending with a two beat G. So every one of these notes at the beginning of the song is played like a half note. They are all two beat notes. Okay, some of them are tied, tied quarter notes and some are half notes like we're used to seeing. So I'm gonna play this for you. You can play along with me if you would like. Here we go, starting with a two beat G and then going to a two beat F, dropping down to C. One, two, Ready, G. How did you do? Let's do that again. Here we go, from the beginning, starting with that two beat G. One, two, ready. Next note is an A, right? Press down firmly on that A key. And it's a quarter note A tied to a quarter note A, so it's another two beat A, followed by two quarter note Gs. So we will tongue both of those Gs, drop down to an F, tied to another F, so it's a two beat F, down to two Ds that we will tongue because there's no tie, then two Es tied together, a half note D, two C's tied together. Here we go on the second half of Fit to be Tied, starting on a two beat A, going to two quarter note G's, and then a two beat F. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. Let's do that again. Second half of the song starting on the two beat A. One, two, ready, play. Let's play the whole song without stopping from the very beginning. Here's 59 fit to be tied from the beginning starting on a G going to an F, and then down to our C. One, two, ready, play. Rest, rest. Good 
job. If you want to pause the video and work on that a little bit more, that might be a good idea. Now let's take a look at song number 60, Alouette, a French-Canadian folk song. And it begins with a half note F, a two beat F, tied to a quarter note F, a one beat F. So that means that we're gonna play that F for three beats, and then we're gonna move to the G. There is only one F played at the beginning of this song. Now this is a melody that I'm sure you are familiar with. I'm gonna play it all the way through quickly so that you'll have it inside your head as to what melody you're, that we're learning how to play here. Don't try and play along with me yet. Here I go. <sighs> that, don't you? Yeah, it's a fun, familiar melody. Now let's start to learn it slowly. So we're back at the beginning, and it begins with a three beat F. F, G, A, A. Let's just play the first two measures, starting with that three beat F, and then go to the G. Don't tongue a second F. The second F that you see, the quarter note, is combined with the half note. Here we go, from the beginning. Just the first two measures. One, two, ready, play. Let's do that again. One, two, three, beat, F. Getting better? Let's do it again. One, two, ready, play. Let's look at the next two measures. The first of these two measures, it's four quarter notes, G, F, G, A. And then we go to an F and a C. And that next measure, it's two quarter note Fs tied together, so it sounds and feels like a half note. And then two quarter note Cs tied together, sounds and feels like a half note. That's what they essentially are, isn't it? So we're going to go G, F, G, A, F, C. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. Let's do that again. G, F, G, A, F, C. One, two, ready, play. Let's continue. We're at the breath mark, and it's just like the beginning. A three beat F, going right to a G, and then two two beat A's. A half note A, followed by two quarter note a A's tied together. Here we go. We're at the breath mark, starting on a three beat F. One, two, ready. But let's look at that next two measures. Again, we go G, F, G, A, and we end on an F. A, F. It's tricky there at that end, isn't it? G, F, G, A, F. When I go from A to F, I'm holding my fingers in the shape of a letter C, and I'm on my A, and I just lift my hand up, and automatically go to that F. Here we go. Last two measures, G, F, G, A, F. One, two, ready, play. Cool, let's play it all the way through from the very beginning. It starts with a three beat F. Alouette from the beginning. One, two, ready, Cool? All right. 
hey, look at the tan box that's just below the song we just played, where it says dotted half note. A dotted half note is kind of the proper way to show a note that is to be held for three beats. A regular half note without a dot, of course, is a two beat long note. A dot adds half of a note's value to itself. It's very important. The dot adds half the note's value to itself. So half of two is one, and two plus one is three. So a dotted half note is the proper way to express a three beat long note as opposed to a half note tied to a quarter note. Okay? And as if you haven't figured it out already, it's the same song we were just playing, but now instead of using half notes tied to quarter notes, we're going to use dotted half notes. Okay, there's a dotted half note at the beginning. There's a dotted half note in the middle at the, at the breath mark. And the last song of Alouette is also a dotted half note, F. All the dotted half notes in this are Fs, aren't they? Okay, so let's play this from the very beginning. We start with that three beat F, and we go to a G and then an A. I'm really thinking about those A's that are coming. I am anticipating it. My A finger is itchy. It wants to play that note. Here we go from the very beginning. One, two, ready, play. It was just like the number 60 alouette, wasn't it? Let's continue with the dotted half note F, going to a G, going to two A's after that. Please make sure that you're tonguing all the time as you play. The tip of your tongue should touch that reed at the beginning of every note. It doesn't have to be heavy. You can hear that my notes are very clearly tongued. I am not breathing between my notes. I'm blowing continuously until I get to breath marks. And my tongue is just very gently going ta, 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 as I am blowing. So here's the second half of Alouette, the sequel, starting on a three beat F. One, two, ready. play song number 61, Alouette the sequel, all the way through without stopping. See if you can make it to the breath mark on one breath. Take a big breath before you start. One, two, on this song. Keep working on your clarinet. Looking forward to seeing you at your next lesson. Bye-bye.